hey there welcome to my channel my name is Chris Odogo and I am delighted to be making this video you know why I'll be talking about office romance <laughs> I'll be sharing with you some practical tips on how to date your co-worker without losing your job so you are at work to you know get some work done and of course pay the bills but for some reason you find yourself dating your co-worker I mean you did set out for that probably but you know what they say the heart wants what the heart wants so now you are in this situation and you're looking for the best way to manage the situation of course you don't want to lose your job you need to make some money right and you don't want to lose your partner either so in this video I'll be talking about how to ensure that you have the best of both worlds that is you get to keep your job and your partner sounds too good to be true huh well you don't want to miss this video trust me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification okay that way you get to watch my latest videos you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video if you're ready for the show i am ready so let's dive into it the first tip on how to date your co-worker without losing your job is to understand your organization's policy regarding office romance. You see, for some companies, office romance is a no-no. And if that's the case, you would want to, you know, tread carefully because you don't want to be on the receiving end of getting fired. Yeah, you wouldn't want that to happen just because you got yourself in that situation. Is it allowed or is it prohibited? You see, for some companies, it's a no-go area because they feel like when co-workers begin to date each other, they're not going to take their jobs seriously and they're going to jeopardize the interest of the organization. And sometimes even when an organization prohibits uh, office dating, like co-workers dating, some people still go ahead to do it because they don't want to throw away the love that they have found just because they are working at a particular place. Okay, so if your organization allows it, great, good for you. You don't have much to worry about. You just need to ensure that you play your cards well. But if your organization doesn't permit it, it means automatically what you'll be doing will be on the wrong side of the law. So you have to be ready for the consequences. If it backfires, don't say, oh, I wasn't aware. Hello, you were aware. That's why you need to find out what your organization says, what its policy says about office romance. Having that information will guide you on the next steps to take. The second tip on how to date your co-worker without losing your job is to keep your relationship a secret. You see, even if your organization says it's okay for its uh, employees to date each other, you don't have to make an announcement about it. To what end exactly? Why do you want uh, other people to know that you're dating your co-worker? What's the, what's the benefit in that? You see, if you announce your relationship, you only give them a chance to poke their noses into your affair. The fewer the people who know about your relationship, the better, because that way you're not going to be under any pressure to sustain the relationship or to act a certain way. The most successful office relationships are the ones that are kept a secret. Let it be between you and your partner. No other person has to know you guys are there to work, okay? It's your personal affair. When you're at work, focus on your work. As a matter of fact, you can even act like you guys are nothing but co-workers. Yes, because as more people get to know that you guys are dating, that will get in the way 
all right they'll find it difficult to treat you guys as colleagues as co-workers they'll always find a way to bring your relationship into the picture and in some cases that might stir trouble so keeping your relationship a secret is the best thing to do if the relationship is going to grow into something else let's say you guys end up getting married fine at that point they can know when the wedding is happening when it's about to happen but for now you don't need to tell them about it because you don't have any guarantee whatsoever that the relationship is even going to work you don't so just keep it a secret let it be hush hush all right that is one of the best ways i tell you to date your co-worker without losing your job the third tip on how to date your co-worker without losing your job is to prioritize your work if both of you want to keep your jobs yeah which i believe you want to your job has to come first especially when you are at work so people would say oh uh, my relationship should come first my happiness should come first hello do you want to keep that job or not do you value that job if the answer is yes then if you ever have to pick or ever have to make decisions that involve both things your your work and your relationship you must ensure that your work comes first that way you won't be shooting yourself in the foot you won't be jeopardizing your work all right don't make the mistake of always putting your relationship first no you were employed there for a reason to work to get the job done and that should be your priority the job first otherwise you might start making decisions that would jeopardize your work and before you know it you might not have any work to fall back to okay and if you're dating uh, a responsible person i want to believe that they would understand it. you guys are there to work and that should come first your relationship is your personal business it shouldn't get in the way of the work that you were hired to do so you must prioritize your work if you're dating your co-worker and you don't want your relationship to get in the way of your job the fourth tip on how to date your co-worker without losing your job is to respect each other i can't say this enough all right you and your partner are working in the same space depending on the size of your organization you might have to you know see each other frequently or engage with each other sometimes you might not if it's a big establishment but whatever the case may be both of you have to you know comport yourselves you must carry yourselves in a way that will not be disrespectful to each other say for instance you are you are a lady yeah and normally you would like to maybe flirt with with other guys or other people in general it could even be the other way around you might be the guy and you like to flirt with your your colleagues now that you're dating your co-worker it's not the time to do that no, you need to, you know, tone that down or better still, stop it completely. You can't be flirting with your your other colleagues or other co-workers while you're dating somebody right there in, in your office, in your organization. How do you want them to feel? Of course, they're going to feel disrespected. All right, you need to, you know, respect your partner's feelings and they have to, they need to respect your own feelings as well. Don't do anything intentionally that would make your partner feel some type of way. No, don't encourage it. You're dating this person. So if someone else is trying to hit on you or hitting on you, you owe it to your partner to make them know that you're not available. You owe it to your partner to not entertain them or encourage them. When you do that, you are disrespecting your partner, all right? You must ensure that you respect each other because if you begin to behave in ways that your partner finds disrespectful, that will affect their work. 
they won't be happy. And when they're not happy, they won't be able to perform well. And if you truly love them, if they're unhappy and unable to perform at their work, it will affect you too. And before you know it, your jobs will be suffering. Respect is very important in office romance, okay? Don't do anything that will make your partner feel some type of way. Always, always consider that. It's not just about you. You have someone else in that organization. Someone else will feel strongly about you. Before you do anything, ask yourself, how will this make my partner feel? How will it make them see me? Will it be disrespectful? Will it be hurtful? You need to always consider that because if you're selfish and you do whatever you like at your place of work while you're dating your co-worker, they will feel disrespected. And when they feel disrespected, your relationship and your job will be on the line. The fifth tip on how to date your co-worker without losing your job is to not bring work home and vice versa. When you are at work, focus on your work both of you all right do the work that you're there to do and when you are at home especially if you guys live together don't bring work to the house it's not the time to start talking about work 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 no you guys spend hours at work together when you're out of work out of the office you guys should talk about other things. You should do other things that are not work related. Okay, try as much as possible not to take uh, assignments home, work assignments home. You need to, you know, focus on your partner because if you begin to bring work home, they might feel neglected and react by also bringing work home. You guys need to be able to draw the line. When you are at home, you are at home. You spend time together as a couple. And when you are at work, you focus on your work. It's not the time to start getting all, you know, lovey-dovey and trying to make everybody know that you guys are together. No, you can leave that for when you're at home. All right, you need to be able to draw draw a line when we are at home, we're at home, we get to be a couple, we get to be all affectionate. And when we are at work, we are professionals who get the best jobs done. Being able to draw that line will not only make you perform well at your job, but it will also help you nurture your relationship. Okay, both things will not have to clash. You will not have to choose because you're giving each item the attention that it deserves. Finding love in the workplace can be interesting because you get to know your partner so well, you spend hours with them in the same space. And by doing that, you learn more about them than you would ordinarily if both of you weren't working together. So to ensure that you date your co-worker successfully without losing your job, you must ensure that one, you understand your organization's policy regarding dating, co-workers dating. Is it allowed? Is it prohibited? You need to know so you understand what you are getting yourself into. If you don't do that, you might just be taken unaware. You might also be shooting yourself in the foot. Secondly, you need to keep your relationship a secret. Depending on your decision to go ahead with a relationship, regardless of your organization's policy, you need to keep it a secret. Even if your organization allows its employees to date each other, that doesn't mean you should make your relationship public because when you do that, you're giving your colleagues, your other co-workers a chance to have a say to interfere in your relationship. It's also important that you prioritize your work, okay? Your work comes first. If your work is important to you, you must always prioritize it in regard to your relationship, especially when you are at work, especially when it's time to get the job done, okay? You must see your partner as a colleague and Give them the, the regard, the respect that they deserve as a colleague that you're working with. You don't have to see them as your partner or your lover because as far as your work is concerned, your office is concerned, 
They are your colleague and both of you have to work together to get the job done. The fourth tip is to respect each other. Don't do things that will make your partner feel some type of way. Don't do things that will make them feel disrespected, okay? You need to, you know, comport yourself and not entertain any behaviors from your other co-workers like you are interested or available to date them okay you're dating someone at work already so you need to consider their feelings consider how whatever you do at work will make them feel and finally you have to ensure that you don't uh, take work home and vice versa when you are at home, you guys are a couple, you can live your best lives without necessarily making things about work or doing things about work. And when you're at work, you focus on your jobs. It's not the time for you to get all affectionate and all of that. You have to treat your partner first and foremost as a co-worker because when you begin to give them preferential treatments, it will make you look bad and other people will feel some type of way. I made a video titled how to flirt with your boss without losing your job. So do you have an eye for your boss? Do you find your boss attractive? Well, in this video, I talked about how to flirt with them without being too obvious and without uh, putting yourself in a position where you could lose your job. You can find the video right here. My name is Chris Udogo and I had so much fun making this video. Feel free to take a look around my channel. I have lots of other interesting videos. Have you subscribed to my channel already? If you haven't, please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. Let me know what you think about the topic. Have you ever dated a co-worker? Uh, do you think it's cool? Do you think it's not? Please let me know in the comments. Also like the video and share it with your friends. See you in the next one.